What's up guys, we are here with SPL Finals, Tricking vs Eternal Spirit, NPC, a Hooper and a Gengar. Oof. Those ones have no switchings for sure. Um, I assume it's gonna be Scarf, Gengar, Z-Move, Faramosa. Eternal um, still abusing Faramosa as he... While it's an OU, that thing's gonna be gone pretty soon. I hope. Bandit Zygarde looks like it goes in after Landorus is I mean, yeah, Bandit Zygarde is a threat, but Metagross kills it with Ice Punch. Landorus probably has HP eyes. I assume he's defensive rocks Lando, the standard set, but if he's wild, he runs Scarf, Lando, and rocks Metagross. But I don't think that's... There's no way, because he needs um, defensive Lando to check to check stuff like Marowak, um, Mega Mawile. Stuff like that. Okay, okay, let me look at Tricking's team. We have T in the call, by the way. Um, that's good. They both have Mega Metagross, just showing how... Like, Mega Metagross is everywhere, just... Making Mega Scissor popular on OU. So, Tricking gets the lead matchup wrong. He's basically forced out into Tapu Fini or Metagross here. Oh, he just goes for Bennett E-Speed and Sex... Ooh, Eternal Spirit over predicts turn 1. Didn't go for Ice Beam. Dude, that was such a wild play by Tricking. He knew he knew he wouldn't go for Ice Beam. That man is trying to give a show. That man is trying to make the finals entertaining for the viewers. <laughs> the score is 1 and 0, oh, by the way. Eternal Spirit is on the um, Circus Maximus Tigers and Tricking is on the uh, scooters. Yeah. So, yeah, he throws up the rocks. Fini's just gonna defog Earthquake. Doesn't do much. I assume that's a bolt type of Fini. At least he has some sort of defense investment. I don't really understand why he's staying in. That doesn't really accomplish much. He just lets his Lando get weakened. And the Metagross is like... Metagross has like no switch-ins on Eternal's side. Okay, he gets the Gengar in. Tapu Fini's kind of healthy again thanks to leftovers. And Tricking doesn't have a good switch-in. To Shadow Ball at all. As he can stay in. That is a lot. Is that Specs? That did so much. What? All right, my bad. I'm back. Cur Have I missed anything too important? No, nah, no. Nah. Cursed body from Gengar always activates. I mean, Shadow Ball basically gets a yes. kill. He has to sack the Fini, or he has to um, I don't know what can he switch in. He can't switch anything in because Zygarde can't revenge this with E speed. I mean, if, it, if, he's if he's for death, Zygarde. Nah, he's ban. He's banned. It. He went for E speed turn one. Oh, okay. That was that was oh, a wild play. Cycle. Turn one was such a wild turn, dude. Mans went in on turn one. Oh, by the way, there's an April Fools joke that Blaziken is now unbanned in Sun and Moon OU. I'm pretty sure that's April Fools. That's so obvious, dude. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna click on the article after the game on the thread. I'm guessing the Feramosa is scarf since it didn't ice beam turn. Yeah, one. it you turned. Yeah, I thought it was Z move, but you turned Z move is not really a set. Nah, nah, he has to be scarf be um, because like there's reason to ice beam there otherwise. Nah, no Eternal reason. Spirit plays aggressive. But um, you guess he could be Z move Gengar then if he's if he's um scarf or Mosa. Z move Gengar or Z move Hooper. But I think the Hooper is like Specs. It could be Z. It could be Z Snatch. No, I think the Hooper is Specs and the Gengar is like Z move. That makes a bit more sense to me, but I'm not sure. Yeah, he just sacks off the Fini. So if Eternal gets up rocks, now they are here to stay. But Landris doesn't get up rocks on anything. It, it gets up rocks on opposing Landris maybe, and it gets up rocks on a Zygarde potentially. But it can't switch into Zygarde. It gets two killed by a thousand arrows. After he sacks something off, he can bring the Lando in on the Zygarde and get up rocks. But everything else should kill the Lando. And Metagross basically gets a kill here. Like, Meteor Mesh into Thunder Punch should 2 KO the Tapu Fini. Maybe Meteor Mesh even 2 KOs. If it's not a Bolt Fini. So, Eternal could go into his own Metagross. Or he could go into Fini. Uh, his own Metagross is only an option if he has an Earthquake. But then he kind of has to hope that Tricking doesn't have Earthquake. Well, yeah, because Tricking would just Earthquake I'm pretty, here. Um, I assume he will have... Like, Earthquake would make sense on his team, because he would... Or he could Ice Punch here. Nah, he's no, that's not why he's Ice Punching, because um, there's a tap, there's a tap of Fini. Uh, I don't think he's Ice Oh, he pursues oh. the goal. Did he, did he actually bluff the Bullet Punch and then 
Go for Pursuit, that's such a wild play. Dude. Well. It's the only steel type on his team, like the chat said, so it was pretty obvious. Oh, Yachi Berry, so he gets up the rocks. And he gets frozen. Oh, oh come on. Yeah, this, this game is over. Yeah, it's uh, Eternal Spirits in a Dude, rocks, rocks would have been so nice, so Scarfire and Musa could have put in work with rocks, because Volcarona would have been low. His default got died. He had the Yachi Berry that came in clutch if he didn't get the freeze. <laughs> CVB, Finchinetta, stop crying you out of SPL. This isn't your turn <laughs> to complain about. Um, I don't know, like, he saves the Lando as death fodder, but I don't think the Lando is really... Yeah, that's the only point to save it, saving it. He, he probably has off Quake on this, or he pursues, hoping that Trigon would switch. Yeah, they're both... That's really common on teams that only have one steel type. Um, pursue the Metagross, so you can switch into Tapu Lele, and then you can pursue, do like 70%, maybe only 60, when the Lele switches out, predicting the mash. Like, Lele is never staying in on Metagross most of the time, unless they make a wild prediction. I guess he turn gets uh, slight revenge hacks, but he loses his speed out there. <laughs> I mean, if he had rocks up, Lele's about to go ham. If he had rocks up, didn't he just kind of win? Now nah, Feramosa is at five percent. My bad. He didn't just win with Feramosa. There's still E speed, and I that's I don't know if I like tricking his team because he has. I mean, I like his team, but he has a type of Lele when when he has uh, extreme speed on Zygote, so that could be. Um, that could hurt him in some scenarios. But yeah, overall, that's, that team's... Uh, like, Volcarona offense is scary if... Like, tell me what switches into Volcarona if you don't have a chance. You, like, the HBI is shut out. Psych set just blows Toxapex and Landris away. And blows Zygarde away. After Quiver ends. There's Smog Draws going on, I think, in 40 minutes for Black and White, so... Maybe my friend Petlo will join, I don't know if I will watch that. I'm definitely not playing black and white, I've never played black and white in my life. I will maybe play it for fun, but not today, I'm feeling tired. <laughs> I've recorded like a three... Like, I've recorded a, f a 40 minute earlier video earlier, it was really fun, and then I edited it for like two hours, just to find out that I can't render it because my computer gave me an error, so that was really annoying. Uh, I feel like he's gonna go into... Okay, you already made the play before I could uh, think about it. Yeah. So he's Scarf later then? Otherwise, there's no way you bring this out. And you can just click um, Moonblast. I'm pretty sure you can just Moonblast, yeah, Moonblast. here. It should kill him. Moonblast kills. Um, Metagross has, has um, great defense, but the Spadef is not that super great. So yeah. I think it will do like 20-ish to Metagross Moonblast. Maybe 24. Yeah, second off the ladder. That was fine. But dude, if he had rocks up, didn't he kind of win? I mean, I guess Tricking could have Helmet on Landris, so Eternal Spirit would have to be really careful how he plays his Feramosa. Because it's a 5%, meaning it dies to Helmet if it attacks the Lando with an attack that's uh, physical. But other than that, if he had rocks up, Eternal would have been in such a good position, I feel. Um, So, he can go into... Um, what can he even go into? Type of Fini's low. And then, never mind. Type of Fini does, does U turn it? Does U turn into Ice Beam kill Lele? Um, U turning is risky though, cause it dies to Helmet. It's a f yeah, no, but like I feel like I feel like Tricky Trick won't go hard Lando if he is ham Helmet, like because a Spurn Eternal could make like some try hard um, read. I think just, Eternal like, will go into Fini here, cause it's hundred percent. Um, I thought if it, Fini was low, but I mixed it up with Tricking's Fini. I mean, it's four and four. Um, I guess yeah, his his Feramosa is super low. Uh, Bandit Zygarde kind of like Bandit Zygarde probably does like seventy to Hooper or eighty. I don't know the calc. Nah, it probably just kills it. Nah, it do it doesn't Oko. Dude, Feramosa lift, so Hooper yeah. doesn't get Oko. His Feramosa has like seventy base defense, and it lift one. Lived a uh, extreme speed, yeah. but not a. Th not I'm talking about a thousand yeah, arrows. Yeah, thousand arrows kills. I'm just talking about a potential Zygote cleaning up with E speed. Like, the Metagross might be in E speed range. It's at 16%. Fermosa is in E speed range. So, like, if he gets rocks up and the Hooper switches in, like, twice. I mean, the Daphini is still healthy, so he's not sweeping with E speed. Watch him, watch him, watch him Ice Beam here. 
and he goes Landris, that would be so wild. Oh, watch him! Watch him go for. No, he's U-turning. He's U-turning this time because Trick, Trick probably won't um, risk his Landris. Watch him go for Ice Beam and freeze the latest thing. The latest thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's going Landris, but he, he channels an aggressive player. I told you he's gonna make some wild play, oh. hoping for the freeze or something. I mean, he obviously predicted the Landris, but that was. I don't think that was. I don't think yeah. it's coming in. That yeah, time. that was wild, dude. The Landris. And plus, U-turn. Kill, so the landers was still nice for tricking to keep to get um, intimidate and rocky helmet on the metagross. Like the lando can live any hit from metagross. Yeah, I don't know. Like huh, now, eternal just loses now. I think. Like if he takes damage on Tapu Fini, he just gets he just gets opened up in, for a Zygarde E speed sweep. Uh, also, doesn't Volcarona just win if he sacks the Lily? Like, he gets up equivalent with Fermo um, with Volcarona. And then... Then he goes for, like, Giga Drain, and then, like... I guess the Hoopa lives... Nah, the Hoopa dies to Inferno that's, Overdrive. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The Fire Z-move would kill Hoopa, but other than that, I think it would survive any one hit. So, no like, way. if the Fini doesn't have a Water move, I'm pretty sure Volcarona sets up on it. At least one Quiver Dance, because then he will probably taunt. We need a taunt on it, just man as a focal when it comes out. But I've seen some Fini run Surf and Hyrule Pump. Yeah, that's a bad set. <laughs> Someone in the chat, <laughs> hurry up and finish SPL. Oh, that was AIM. So we can play real games, The Walking Dead. <laughs> Dude, is AIM recording this? Because AIM is online. I don't know. It's fine if he's recording this. Rip my views. I mean, I'm pretty much um, I'm super hyped for World Cup, which is in, I think it's in May or June, and the, the meta the meta will be different at that time because I think Farmos and Metagross, maybe Greninja will be banned by then. So there's like gonna be changes. It's pretty hype. Like I think Eternals only plays like I think Moonbest probably two kills the Lily, might be a roll. Like, I think Tricking can stay in, because like I said, if he sacks his Lily, I think he wins his Ferrum um, with Volcarona, depending on the set. That is so much, and he gets a drop. Um, oh, the drop sucks, it's Calm Mind. Uh, I don't think, I don't think the Fini can win, though, because it will, it will get put in range from Band a Thousand Arrows. Yeah. If it doesn't get put in range from Thousand Arrows, he has the... Thousand Arrows just claims a kill. Like, it, Southern Arrows is like 40-ish to defensive Fini, but I assume the Calm Mindset is like offensively orientated. So yeah, that's definitely in range for Southern Arrows, yeah. Yeah, this, this game is over. But like... He's just gonna click Hydro Pumpy if he has it. And then Zanga just gets his skill. Why is the chat going so wild? Good god. Um, I'm gonna rewatch my own video and read the chat afterwards. I'm not trying to focus on the chat now. But yeah, as per usual, um, SPL Sunday is gonna be high. Most players play on Sunday. There's gonna be two more Sonic Moon games tomorrow. I think one Aorus game. Uh, one black and white game. That's uh, that, Those are the most interesting. I don't really care about the RBY and GC and ADV games because I have no knowledge about those tiers. I mean, I will probably still watch them, but I don't know if I'll record them because I can't give the best analysis on that. Yeah, this this thing dies. Um, that that Moomba's did nothing. How was that plus one? Is he not max special attack on his Fini? That did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Zamrock, why did that snack? <laughs> Fini is ass. <laughs> Damn. I mean, turn he's, turn. He's probably like timid max speed, max HP. Or turn one was huge. Um, not ice beaming turn one. And ice beaming the Lele was also huge. But yeah, turn one was like super huge. And the freeze on the land was super annoying. Um, I actually don't think the freeze on the lander was game deciding, but I'm not sure. 
I think Tricking still would have won anyway. He maybe didn't want to risk Hydropump missing, or why does he just go for Moonblast again? Or maybe he's Taunt. No, maybe he's Defog. Call Mine, Moonblast. No water move? I don't know. Maybe Nature's, no, Nature's Madness make, makes no sense on that set. So if, maybe he's. It's probably Pump, Moonblast. Yeah, I thought it was Pump, but why would he not go for it then? Didn't want to. Yeah, didn't want to uh, miss, but dodge. not killing doesn't make. So he's a choice lot too, but I assume he goes for Gang Shot there. Zaga just comes in and gets a kill, yeah. Like... Uh, I guess he might be Rapid Spin Faramosa then, if he's... But if he's Pump Fini, I really don't get why he wouldn't go for it. Because you basically have to go for it, like... Yeah, you can miss it, but... Moonblast doesn't kill, so you have to hope that you hit it. That was a wild game. Yeah, dude, turn one was wild as fuck. You can watch in my video, or you can just rewatch. He didn't even Ice Punch there, what... He, 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 he doesn't have it. it. Pursuit, pursuit, mash. It probably was pursuit, bullet punch, medium mash, and thunder punch. That set is pretty common. Uh, like at least Ricardo uses that set. That set is cool. Like pursuit is for Lilians. Um, mash is just to hit everything. The fairies. Everything neutrally, basically. But yeah, not having ice punch is kind of huge for Landrus. Um, so I assume. He probably had had a water move on his Tapu Fini because he's kind of weak to Landers if he doesn't have Ice Punch on Metagross. Um, because his super seems to be physical. I don't think he has Ice Punch on his super. Uh, like Ice Beam on Fermosa, and I don't know if he has HP on Landers. But yeah, Tricking takes the game three and all. Oh, um, I'm pretty sure Eternal could have won this if he if he didn't get frozen. And if he didn't, if he ice beam turn one, I think he, he pretty much had this game. Um, but that's kind of theory, theory morning or however you call it. So um, the Tigers lose this, so the score is one and one now. Um, so it's gonna be pretty hyped tomorrow. We have uh, well I Oyo or well you versus P two. And Simon Oyo, we have the Thorn versus Steve Angelo. Uh, we have Ubers, I completely forgot to mention Ubers. We have Ganaron versus Mazar. Uh, so we have two German players playing tomorrow. Got a root for the Germans. We have Little Cup, Star versus OP. Okay, no idea about Little Cup. We have Doubled. Oh, you. And we have Axel 10 versus Nintendo. Two gods going at it at Oris. Oh, you. Jirachi versus Toki Tom, black and white. And then. Ojama? I don't know if Jama is unbeaten this season, but um, the games that I saw Jama play, he pretty much dominated. I only saw a few of his games. I saw him outplay like um someone passed the belly drum into like I think was it was I think it was X Plout? And he played around it. That that game was wild. I should have recorded that. Um, belly drum into X Plout. Yeah, in in a third third gen, good god, I can't talk. Um I don't think there's any SP So there's definitely no SPL game, but I don't know if there's OST today. All I know is um, PDC is playing tomorrow, and NJMP might be playing tonight, but I will probably be asleep because I gotta be up tomorrow. Like I gotta be fresh. I gotta get that young sleep in because tomorrow there's gonna be games. Thank you guys for watching. I gotta get this up. Peace out. Thanks to T, even though you missed half of the game or the few, the most important <laughs> beginning turn, the wild turn. And yeah, I've seen it. I don't see it. Stay tuned for stay tuned for a wild SPL Sunday. It's gonna be hopefully we get some nice tiebreaker and some action, some like horror movie. No, not horror movie, but like some really close series. Smack that liked button. Down below. <laughs> Peace out, friends.